Well, hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dal. Today I'm just jumping on real quickly because I've just come back from Spotlight and I found these little tubes in the art painting area and I thought I would open it and check it out with you guys. It's just um, a plastic fairly hard tube. It is designed to keep your canvases and things like that when you're painting and traveling. So I thought this would be an ideal little uh, item to use for when you're traveling or moving or just storing your canvas. So this is a bit of a storage slash idea as well. Um, this one says it's adjustable. I don't know if you can see all that there. So yeah, so this is something I just found. It was so cheap, it cost me like three bucks. I'm not sure if that's standard price or clearance or 40% off or what the heck happened, but I don't care. I will take the $3, thank you very much, um, for this item. It is extendable storage tube. Where is it? There we go. Um, I have looked at these before in Spotlight, and you guys might have seen them as well. But, uh, yeah, today I actually went and bought one, so I am going to open it up. So this is a little bit of a storage idea, travelling idea, storage and travel video, I suppose, of diamond paintings. You could also probably put, if you had a big enough cross stitch or something in here for travelling. And if you just enjoy your watercolours or those sort of things, it would also be ooh, interesting sort of item for you guys as well. As I said, I found this right in the back corner where they keep all the canvases and art the paints and art supplies because I was sticky beacon around the canvases today. Um, I didn't, they didn't have my size canvas I was looking for, so instead I decided I would take this home with me instead. So I have a little strap on the side. There we go. It's got some stitching there, just a single stitching in red and black is the colour designed for this one. This seems to be adjustable, so you'll be able to uh, hang it over your shoulder or something like that, I think. Yeah. I think. Ugh, it's stiff. That's because it's new, I suppose. Um, yeah. Ugh, yes, it's not the easiest thing to adjust, but anyway. Come on, move this way then. Okay. there we go so yeah it just needs a little bit of encouragement down this end and that little bit's a bit stiff I think that's because it's new and yeah you can relax that and it will extend it to quite a lengthy handle I'm not going to worry about too much length at this moment I don't think we shall see I'm going to just take off this section this um, tag because I don't think I need that anymore but that's a little quick reference if you're looking for it so it's quite large when it's fully extended it is 60 to 100 centimeters long so that should cover a vast amount of ooh, canvas sizes so that just pops off of there that stays on okay yes you get what i mean <laughs> that's attached to the handle so you won't lose that little lid that comes off there it says it has a locking oh yes clip it like that it will lock into place roll it back the other way it'll undo again for the truby bit to extend you do the same it has an adjuster there it says adjust and twist so adjust lock oh oh I'm not going to take any further there we go um it has also some measurements on the side here i don't know if they're coming up very well but you have um this a1 30 ao b1 so a lot of sizings there for the tube nice and round very deep tube it adjusts rather long I'm not sure about this bit wobbling around like that. I don't think you should joke it past, say, that last notch. Does it lock? Lock, 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 lock. Oh! I hope it's supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. 
I broke it. Uh oh. Too far. I took it too far. I'll figure this out. Okay, so I managed to get that back in there. I don't think I'll pull that out quite as far next time. But you can lock it into that length so it won't go back down. Interesting sound. Um, so yeah, push it and folds down. Lock it to adjust to your size. Once you get these little knobs on the end, these little knobs here, you can lock it into one of those as such and then it will stay at that length of your canvas. Cool. Let's see how we go putting one in the can in there. I will have to extend the handle because my lid won't go on at that length. Well, that's easier now. Why is that easier now? Almost. Ta da ah. All right, let's see if we can put a canvas in there. I just happened to have one lying around nearby, which was this one. It was quite a big canvas. Uh, I started this ages ago. I found it in my tidy ups and I thought hmm, you know what I'll pull that back out and maybe have another go at that but anyway for demonstration purposes this one is by the way 42 by 51 centimeters so um, being a diamond art club it will be true to size for that for the image so you can imagine that's quite a big canvas I can just roll that outwards like so, so the drills are out while I'm working on it. Pop it in my tube. It's gone. Look at that. Well, don't look. Yeah, look at that. So that's a lot longer than it needs to be for that particular canvas. So that's a decent sized canvas and there's still plenty of room. So I can leave that a regular sort of size or you could extend it longer and then put um, your bags of drills if you're working from baggies or something in there as well. So there you go. That will keep that all nice and tidy and you could put quite a few in here because it is rather big so there you go um, this will hold rather large canvases as i said it's a 60 to 100 centimeter uh, tube be able to extend for that length rolling up your canvas as such so there we go uh, another little great little storage and traveling idea because it's quite it's flexible but it's quite firm you should have no trouble protecting your diamond paintings if you are either just wanting to store your projects as you're working on them or up and comings or it might be a way that you need to move house and you can put all your diamond paintings in there uh, lots of little ideas you could probably use for this and of course you can use it for um, normal painting or even a large cross stitch or something like that you wanted to keep safe uh, yeah that would be also something you could put in there so anyway this is my little storage traveler tube i thought i would grab myself i got it from spotlight and uh yeah it was rather cheap so i thought that was definitely a bargain so there we go guys uh i just wanted to share that one with you i thought it was a really cool little idea so i'll just say thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little video it's only a short one i know but i thought i'd just pop it together rough and fast and ready and let you check out this a little bit closer because I have looked at these a few times um, and wondered about them but I thought you know what today's the day people today is the day so there we go I'm quite happy with it especially for the price I can't go wrong and yeah so this cost me today three bucks at my spotlight I'm not sure if that's because there's a lot of sales going on or what but yeah because there's no tags of course but that's that Anyway, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short storage idea video, and I'll see you in my next one coming soon. For now, I'll say stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.